Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. In this Pick a Card reading we're just going to take a look at a really nice and simple spread. What are you going to learn this year? And I'm not going to go on too much about it. I have seen all of the groups. There are outstanding cards for every single group. So off you go, pick from group one, group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group one, if you chose group number one, let's take a look at your cards. Now, as with any of my readings, I always ask that you use your intuition as we go along. See what resonates, discard what doesn't resonate. All right, personal transformation. Beautiful start with Lord Ganeshji here. The remover of obstacles. What else do you have? Now Tarot, you have got... You've got the Nine of Swords upside down. Really nice to have this one upside down, guys. <laughs> That's a good start. You have got the Queen of Pentacles upright. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that. I love the gold foil in these cards too. Okay. And you've got the Queen of Cups upright. Look at that, how beautiful. You've got this lovely card here, Simplicity, with a feather, single feather floating in the clouds. How wonderful. Whoops, we've gone a little bit off there. Hold on. See if we can, because I want you to see the word simplicity. I think that's a really important word for you guys this year. Learning the art of simplicity. And this exchanging gifts. How beautiful. So here we've got just an absolutely gorgeous spread, guys. Apologies guys, the camera battery ran out, I had to start again. Okay, now let's dive into this reading. Let's take a look at these fantastic cards because you've really got an absolutely beautiful spread here. As I say, this time all three options are just stunning. So I love yours. I love what you've got going on here. This year, if we look at our lead card, is really going to be a year of personal transformation for you. And this is Lord Ganeshji. He's going to be with you all year. You just have to think of him. Maybe just visualize this picture or think of him and he is there, you know, holding your hand when you want him to. He'll help bring down any barriers that are in your way. Where are the blocks? Where are the barriers going to be? They are going to be in your mind, <laughs> okay? That's the only place where I'm seeing any real issues or problems. Now, what kind of blocks or barriers could you be having in your mind? Well, from what I'm seeing in this card here and from what I'm tuning into the energy of the entire spread, I'm seeing the energies of kind of self-sabotage, the energies of not believing in yourself, the energies of relying too much on the outside world. Maybe you're relying too much on opinions. Maybe you're relying too much on, and that can be opinions that you know, come from parents. We don't realize sometimes how much of our lives we spend trying to impress our parents, you know, and, and maybe that is a little something to look into that, that subconsciously, you know, when you look at why you're doing what you're doing, are you really doing it for you or are you really doing it to impress somebody else, you know, because a, very much a part of this spread is asking you to let go uh, of anything in the mind that's holding you back and you're going to do it this year you're going to do it okay because this card is in its reverse position and when swords cards are in their reverse position the swords they, they basically drop out they drop out of your life so these circling thoughts that are going around in your mind that you know are perhaps bringing you down or providing a state where you are not believing in yourself, right? A mental atmosphere where that isn't supportive. If you've got a mental atmosphere that isn't supportive, where your thoughts are bringing you down, your own thoughts are bringing you down, 
right? That's going to go this year. You are going to personally transform all of this. You're going to work out how to let all of this go, how to, you know, and I kind of want to say, it's coming to me, I might as well say it, how to correctly channel the energy of negativity so that you allow it, you observe it, and you go, okay, that's interesting, and it, it moves on. It doesn't stay with you. You don't get uh, this situation where you're waking up in the middle of the night like this young lady is here and having those circling thoughts or, or thinking about these things again and again. Okay, I think the atmosphere of your mind, through a bit of self-development work, I don't think it's going to take much at all. I think you've got a sensational year coming. Uh, this is really your only blockage. It's it's just in the mind, okay? It's honestly just in the mind. Louise Hay talks about, you know, when, when you've got negative feelings about yourself, that's just a thought. When you When you really break it down, when you really break some of these challenging things down in your own mind, they're just thoughts. And thoughts can be changed. Thoughts can be let go. Thoughts can be, you can just let them be there. And then their power diminishes, they vanish, right? Any negative thoughts you have about yourself, and if you successfully do this work, which you are doing, I know you would be, of course you would be, but it's like, I get the sense that you're going to do this at a very deep level. And I kind of feel like you're going to have this work done by the time, say, for example, uh, this Jupiter Saturn is over. So we're, we're talking kind of April. I see all of this opening up for you. So that's the Queen of Pentacles energy here, which is just gorgeous. And the Queen of Cups. OK, so now if you're a man watching this, think of these as the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. OK, what we're looking at is we're looking at you transitioning to a state where you're embracing your own authority, where you are your own authority, right? If you've got these thoughts circling, and let's say, you know, it's the opinions of others. Let's say some of this is uh, you're concerned about the opinions of others or the opinions of your parents, for example. And, you know, you're letting that go. You're totally letting that go. Or the opinions of society or the opinions of people around you. You know, when I was starting as an astrologer, it wasn't easy because a lot of my friends are very traditional mainstream people. And I was worried. I was like, oh, they're just going to think I'm crazy. They're going to think I'm weird. So, you know, I just had to let all of that go. And I had to get on and be myself, right? I, I just had to. And those thoughts were there. And those thoughts, believe it or not, they are still there. But now I'm getting so much easier about it. And I'm definitely embracing my own inner, inner authority and I feel like you're going to do that in a massive way. Two queens in one reading, okay? This is like rare. So you're really going to have a good year. Now I think how I felt about this card is that your health is going to be fantastic. You're going to have really, really good health. You're going to work that stuff out, okay? You're going to work out how to get your energy because you think about it. You free up some of that mind energy guess what's going to profit your physical body okay your physical body you're you're going to feel healthy you're going to feel good you're going to feel just really happy right and you know if you can do some kind of exercise routine work that into your day that'll be a really really good thing for you don't pressure yourself and we're talking just even if it's just a walk even if it's just something really small and simple start small but do it daily right the other thing that's going to feel fantastic is your emotional body. So your physical body is going to be great. Once you free up the mind energy, once you do your transformation work, you free up the mind energy, physically you're going to feel great. You're going to be able to earn a lot of money, okay? And you're going to be able to share your gifts with the world, okay? That is just green lights. It's like it's time for you to share who you are with the world. It's time for you to, you know, and, and, and what are gifts? Gifts are simple things. <laughs> They're not great big things. Gifts are things like your presence. Gifts are things like you are gifted with a unique presence, 
right? Every single person is, you know, your voice, you being there for somebody. Look for the smaller gifts um, that sometimes we don't realize or we don't appreciate or we don't even know. Those things you'll definitely be able to share with a lot of ease this year. I, For example, when I started this business and I thought, you know, one of my gifts is um, in, well, I have always been able to take very complex things and break it down or make it simple. I, I used to do that in technology when I worked uh, and I was a computer programmer. I did other things. Anyway, that's why I used to think, oh, maybe that's my gift here in astrology. But do you know from the YouTube comments that I've had over the last couple of years, people have told me, I just like the sound of your voice. You know, I never thought, I, I always thought I had the most annoying voice or something, but you know, sometimes we don't know what our gift is or, or what our good thing is or what people like, you know. So I think you're really going to tap that this year and I think you're really going to share it with the world uh, because you free up that mind energy, you're healthy, you're able to earn money and exchange your gifts with everybody, right? With the entire collective. Now, the other thing you're gonna do is you're definitely gonna clear your emotional body. You're gonna feel happy, okay? Regardless of what's going on out there, you're gonna be one of the people who is not dependent on the outside world to make you happy. You're gonna have figured that out, okay? I think you're gonna have figured that out mentally, and I think you're gonna do it physically and emotionally, okay? I think this is gonna be a, an amazing, amazing year for you. I think you're gonna figure out a lot of stuff that other people around you are still dealing with or still trying to figure out. You're going to have achieved it. It is in the realm of personal transformation uh, because I think you're already at quite a high level of all this personal transformation work. I think you've done a huge amount but I think it's, it's just about really, you know, clearing out that mental body and uh, embracing your inner authority, your inner royalty. You know, you're going to set the tone for your life. You're going to create. You're going to make it happen. You're going to, and you're, you're tapping the resources of what's within you. So when it comes to money, you're going to... You're going to allow it to come in, if you know what I mean. The outside world will just bring it in for you because the outside world is you. Do you know what I mean? Like you're, just, you're going to figure out how to allow more abundance in. And you're not going to need to seek or ask. You're going to magnetize. You're going to attract. Okay, so it's very, very exciting uh, what's coming up for you. It's not going to be hard. It's not going to be rocket science. Okay. It's going to be really, really simple. You're going to work out. You see, because when you live from the inside out more, as I think you're going to do this year, you'll realize how little you need. Do you know what I mean? Like, your incarnation, your footprint can be quite elegant and small. You don't need too much of the outside world. And when you're manifesting from within and you're looking within and you're living within and the riches are within and you go within first, life becomes so simple, you know, you're going to experience a level of simplicity that you haven't before. And things that may happen in your life, like let's say, for example, you lose a contract, you lose a job or this or that, or you know you're going to be fine because you know that your angels and you know your inner self your higher self you know that and god right okay god everything's got your back everything's got you covered you can you can just be you know and i do think that part of this spread is also about transitioning from hope to faith okay you're just going to have this incredible sense of faith. You're going to have this incredible sense of no matter what's going on out there, everything's fine in here. And if everything's fine in here within you, right, if everything's fine within, then anything can happen in the outside world. It's okay. You're going to be just fine. 
So guys, I, this is going to be a great year ahead for you. I am wishing you all the best. I'm wishing you all the luck in the world, all the love in the world, all the laughter. Um, you know, I think you're really going to figure out a lot of stuff mentally. You're going to clear out your mind. And a, and a way to do that, if you're having trouble, if it's too abstract, start the year, do a clutter clear. Get rid of stuff. Get rid of stuff that you're not using. Uh, you know, look at your desktop uh, on your laptop and get rid of files that you're not using. Look at your Kindle and delete files that you're not using. Get, 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 find every single space where you are and give it a good clear out. And I'm sure you're going to find that's going to be good too. All right. Well, thank you so much, Group One, for being here. Wishing you well. Let me know how you get on with this in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, Group Two. If you chose Group Number Two, you're in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Now, as with any of my readings, please do use your own intuition as we go along. What a beautiful card. And take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. It's Lord Ganeshji there, by the way, the remover of obstacles. Okay, let's take a look at your tarot. We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. We've got the Empress in reverse. And I hope all of these fit. I've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Don't worry that these are all reversed. I wasn't worried. When I saw your spread, I was delighted. They are all really good spreads this time, equally good. I couldn't pick one that was the best. Release. I love that card. I love the colors in this card too. Let's focus in on that. How beautiful. Really strong, passionate card, this one. And we've got Yin. How beautiful. All right, so I think this is going to be an amazing year for you. And in terms of what are you going to learn, I think you're going to learn how to go after what you really want. I think you're going to learn what you really want as well. I think that has changed over the past year. I think what you want is now different. And I think you're going to pursue what you do want with new vigor. You're going to really go after your dreams. And I think you're going to make quite a bit of headway. I think you're going to succeed obviously this is a spread all about success this is a spread about achievement this is a spread about drive this is definitely a spread about and i mean is it career is it love do you know i think it's everything i think it's your whole life i don't think it's just one thing that we can compartmentalize i think it's you creating the life of your dreams and richard branson said it's not work or play, it's all living to me. And I think that's what you want to create. I think you want to create the kind of life where you're just being. And, you know, you're being your beautiful, you know, empress, emperor self, right? And you're earning money from that. You're getting new ideas, you're inspired, you're giving to the world, okay? These are in reverse, don't worry too much about that. We're gonna get into this. So what I believe is that the way that you're gonna be able to unlock and achieve this beautiful life of what you wanna do is you are gonna to have to release something. Now, what is this something that you're gonna to have to release? I'm gonna say we've got a huge amount of red here and we've also got a lot of red here. And there's a lot of red in the outfits here. There's a lot of red in this card in a way that in some of the other cards in this Ganesh deck, there isn't, 
you know, some of the other cards don't have much red at all. And yours does. Yours has got red twice. And I think you're being... And the other thing is that this is a very masculine card. We're dealing with red. We're dealing with Mars. We're dealing with masculine energy. We're dealing with... With your ability to do and achieve in the world. So we're very much dealing with masculine energy. We're also dealing with feminine energy equally. Okay, uh, but I feel like in order for you, and I feel like basically these will go upright and I'll turn them upright in a moment, but these will go upright if you figure out what it is you need to release. And I, and I, I, I see that what you need to release is something on your masculine side. Okay, so maybe, and is this, a physical thing is this a physical habit is it something internal is it something in your subconscious is it a root chakra thing okay red first chakra root chakra maybe this is you need to release some kind of beliefs that are held within your family okay that you know, there's some, there's some kind of beliefs or something that's holding you back on your masculine side. So maybe it's some of the beliefs that your father passed down to you. Maybe it's, it's something to do with your masculine side. I feel like you, you need to release something here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit with this for a moment and just see what comes through let's see if I can figure it out but I feel like we've got a lot of different people coming and watching these so it's not going to be one thing for everybody but I'll carry on the reading uh, let's see if I can tune into what that thing is that you need to release but you do need to release something now once you release this something I'm telling you all of this opens up all of this you know and this is beautiful this is beautiful energy here. This is the Ace of Swords. This is that sharpness of intellect. This is new ideas coming in. This is, you know, um, you've really kind of achieved a level of mastery over your own thinking. And your own thinking is actively supporting you in creating all this beautiful abundance. Okay, so you are here to be abundant. You are here to make your dreams happen. And this feminine energy is beautiful because what's going to happen, this is really a dominant energy here because we've got the Empress here. What's going to happen when you figure out your masculine side of you or whatever issue, there's some issue going on on the masculine side of you, okay? Once you figure that out, all of this opens up and there's a quality of it being effortless. There's a quality of things just being manifested, things just magnetized, things attracted to you, things will just start to come in. You're not going to have to sweat. You're not going to have to work hard. You're not going to have to labor over it. You're not going to have to, but if you do, I mean, the laboring will be fun. Okay. It'll be like, you know, and it, it will be that thing of what, what, um, I was going to call him Russell Brand, not Russell Brand, Richard Branson. So that thing of what Richard Branson says that, you know, as I, I quoted that earlier, didn't I, where I said it's, it's not work or play, it's all living to me. And look at this. I mean, there's a joyousness. I bet squirrels have a lot of fun, you know, getting their little acorns and putting them away or doing whatever it is that they do. I don't know if they're, are they acorns? That's an American thing. What do they capture in, um, in England? I've watched them a lot. They're so cute. But, they, you know, they, they squirrel away their little nuts and whatever. But there's a joyousness about these creatures. They love doing it. And that should be the same for you. You should have that quality to your work. And I also think that you want the kind of work that when you put in some effort, money comes in. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes, like when you're starting your own business, you have to work really, really hard and see no reward for ages. But I get the impression that you want the kind of thing where you're putting the effort and you're getting a bit of reward constantly, right? And that's wonderful. And I think feel like you're going to be able to create this life. It's not going to be hard. It's going to be effortless. And that's if you're a man or a woman, okay? It doesn't matter. So if you're a man watching this, 
and you see this yin card which is the feminine energy well yeah this is that venus energy this is you know the abundance that just comes in and you don't have to you shouldn't have to work yourself to the bone right it should just come in because it's your own abundance anyway it's your own wealth it's this is all you this is all um you know what deepak chopra says that you are not in your body your body is in you you are not in the world the world is in you you are not in the universe the universe is in you i started thinking about this the other day i worked uh as a manager at hsbc this was like ages ago it was such a great job i really enjoyed it but i was thinking about it the other day and i was thinking about like that was my own wealth that came in for me kind of thing like it was always there and the job found me and i didn't have to do anything and it just came and like you know there was an effortlessness about it and that's what i tend to think these days that if if you're earning and it comes in well, that's your own wealth anyway and if you're not earning well you know you're meant to be creating abundance in other ways right you're meant to be learning something or you're meant to be creating wonderful health look at the empress here you know uh, abundance isn't just financial monetary abundance abundance is your state of mind your state of happiness how you feel if you feel fantastic well you know money's not money's not very exciting if you know what i mean it's like the riches are really inside when you feel happy inside you know and that's when money and all of that is effortless and easy you know what i mean like it just it just comes in but it's like and that that could be the thing okay i think we've got it i think so release you got to release the notion that you have to work really hard to bring all of this in i think that's what it is guys i think it's something to do with this is old conditioning this is like 1980s or something this is like or the 90s or something this is like because you know after last year i think the world is going to transform in a huge way we're going to have this new earth come in and it's not going to be structured the way it was it's not going to be what it was it's not going to be the corporate ladder and the rat race you know i think it's going to be more of a more feminine way of living a more feminine energy way of living a more um you know let it come in type way of living as opposed to you know this this hard core busting a gut kind of you know mentality that i got to work really hard and you know bring in the bucks kind of thing it's like no what you need is you need to be yourself and you need to luxuriate a bit and have fun your work is meant to be fun can you do something where you get paid to have fun where you get paid to just be you you know and all these new ideas are flooding in i really think that's what you're moving towards and i think that this is the year to do it i think that you're going to do it you're going to release something from your masculine side okay maybe maybe it is that you know i have to work hard to make money maybe it's that maybe it's something else maybe it's as i said earlier something to do with maybe beliefs that have come in from yeah from the male side of your family it's it's something like that but honestly this is a beautiful beautiful spread i would be super happy to pick this i'd be super happy to pick any of them this time honestly i just love all of these and i want to wish you hang on this one doesn't want to behave there we go <laughs> i want to wish you the absolute best 2021 i hope this is going to be a great year for you the world is still going to be in a bit of a pickle let's face it but you're going to feel good inside you and that's going to make all the difference okay and um i wish you a lot of love a lot of laughter a lot of happiness and yeah let me know how you get on with this reading in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time hi group three if you chose group number three then you are in the right place let's take a look at your reading now as with any of my readings please make sure that you use your intuition as you look at the cards know that you can take what resonates and discard what doesn't 
Okay, so there's going to be some messages or message in here for you. You can find out what that is. Now, the first card is Surrender. This, of course, is Lord Ganeshji. He is here with you this year to remove any obstacles that are in your way. Okay, and look at that. He's encouraging you to relax and to have a good time <laughs> wherever possible. That's always a good thing to do. Now we're going to take a look at your tarot, what has come through. So we have got the Eight of Cups. I know this card all too well. I have drawn this so many times. It's a favorite of mine. Do you know all of the readings this time? I can't pick which one's the best. They're all, I'd be happy choosing any one of these. Uh, the sun. And it's the sun reversed, but still the sun, right? High Priestess, love this card. That's a new moon she's got there at her foot, isn't it? It's very Pisces, like. Okay. Healing Chaos. You've got quite a little bird chirping in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. Very sweet sound. So you've got some uh, animal, gosh, totem, omen. I should see what kind of bird it is. I can't tell. Just looking out the window. Sorry about that, guys. I got distracted. But it, I think that's a really good omen that you've got a bird because the other two, I don't think they had a bird in the background. Okay, unfinished symphony. Mm -hmm. What could this be? All right, so let's take a look at these cards. What have you got going on here? Well, in terms of what are you going to learn this year, I think you're going to learn some... This is, this is kind of like an advanced group going on here. This is an advanced spiritual group of people who've come to this because you are really refining the meaning of surrender. You're really going to figure out this thing of surrender. You're really going to figure out how this operates in your life. You're going to be able to look back at the times where you've successfully done this Okay, so in terms of this walking away, but this is also looking back as well, but there are times in your life when you have successfully walked away, right? You've done it. You've done it many times. And what I would say is to reflect on the times where you've done it. Perhaps there were old relationships in the past and maybe you look back 20 years ago and you thought wow I remember that person and I remember that how obsessed I was with that person and but but you realize how far you've come in that now that obsession is not there okay um, it's interesting that we're going down this road but there is some romance here so let's talk about it and I mean that could be this unfinished symphony as well We've got romance here, we've got the sun in reverse, we've got an unfinished symphony here. This could be somebody from your past that you... Yeah, I mean, okay, let's, one thing at a time, I'm jumping around again. I did this in the last, was it the last group theory I jumped around? Let, let me go back to this thing of the person from 20 years ago that you were obsessive about and you thought that you were going to die without them and that was your first love or whatever right or your first crush and it didn't work out or they rejected you or it didn't uh you know some, some kind of romance situation that perhaps didn't work out and now you have lived a bit and maybe you've had other relationships and you know you look back and you go wow i was I was so obsessed with that person but why you know because you don't feel that way anymore you've really successfully let that relationship go right and maybe that person does come back in maybe that first love of yours from ages ago comes back in or something like that who knows right but you are so cool with that you're happy to know they're okay 
right? You're happy to know they're okay. But the, the, the thing here is to either look at times where you've successfully surrendered or this is going to be the year where you really do successfully surrender, where you really do successfully let go of things in your romantic life that you feel didn't work out. You're going to successfully let them go. Now, they may come back in, okay? They may come back in if you successfully surrender. You have to really let them go. Um, this, is, this is a massive letting go thing. This could be a letting go of old dreams, okay? Maybe, and I've got some old dreams. I tell you, I used to want, uh, a long time ago, I, I had a bit of an obsessive dream of, oh, I'm, I'm so embarrassed to say, I'm just going to say it. I used to want to study at some kind of, like, um, Cambridge University or Harvard University or somewhere like that. I, I really wanted to do it. And because I was on scholarship for my first degree, I thought, you know what, I can. And uh, it never, every attempt I made, you know, it never worked. It never worked out. So it could be an old dream, guys. This might not be to do with love. This might be to do with some old dream of yours. Maybe an old creative ambition, an old creative project. There's something from your past. There's something from your past that you wanted to do that you never got to do it. And you're kind of wondering what to do about this energy that's still maybe circling within you or that's still alive within you or, wow, we have really got a noisy bird out there. I, I don't know what it means. Anyway, <laughs> let's carry on. Um, there's something from your past. There's something from your past. And I feel like in the successful walking away, in the successful walking away, if you really walk away, and do you know, I have successfully walked away from that dream of wanting to, I, I used to want to do an MBA, I'll be honest. There you go. It was a long time ago and <laughs> a very long time ago. And I used to want to do it. And I sat at the GMAT and I messed it up completely and I, I let it go then. Um, but, you know, what I've since done is over the years, I've, I've let it go. But, but now it's like, I don't need the piece of paper, you know, to, to enjoy that or, um, and that's another thing about this card that it's full of self-effort. If you look at the sun, the fifth house, self-study, self-effort, you know what I mean? Like you can create whatever it is that you want. And that's another thing about love as well. That um, rather than, I, I was listening to a really brilliant man, John Ballantry, I think his name is, and he was talking about um, that when you go for a tarot reading and you ask about love, see we've got the sun here and you ask about love and you say, oh, will I meet my true love? And he said, that's a terrible question to ask a tarot reader. He said, what you should do is you should ask something like, what do I need to change within myself to create the love of my dreams, right? And perhaps that's what's happening in here because there is, we do have the high priestess here and there, you're going to be making some of these transitions. So I'm going to put this in the upright position because I really feel like whatever it is that you feel that's unfinished, you are going to finish it. Um, look here this is a really fascinating spread I'm absolutely loving this one I feel like you're going to be able to I feel like you're going to be able to finish something or let it go completely as I let go of that old dream of mine to study at some fancy university you know like um, now I don't have that desire at all you know it's just a, a thing that I had for a while and like if I look back like would I want to do it now even if I got the the marks to do it or whatever it was I needed in that GMAT score or whatever like would I want to do it I actually wouldn't want to do you know what I mean like and there's such peace within me about it there's such you know it was a failed dream that didn't work out but I've truly let it go and now I'm able to create my world as I want to and you know um yeah, it's just really interesting. So I thought I'd bring up a little personal example just 
in case it would help one of you out there. Creating the love that we want. Look, and I mean, that is the sun. That is, it doesn't matter what hasn't worked out or what you have to walk away from or what you have to let go of. It doesn't matter. You can create the whole damn thing. Like what John Ballantry was saying, rather than ask the tarot reader, you know, how do I, will I find true love? Because you could get a no back. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, in this whole lifetime you won't. No, I don't think you'd ever get a no back. But like, you know, he's saying that don't ask that. Acknowledge your own free will and realize I can make whatever it is that I want. I can create that. You know, and me, I don't feel like I'm missing out on these fancy universities because now I'm studying astrology. I feel like I'm in the greatest, most ancient, most incredible university ever. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just feel so honored to be a Jyotisha practitioner and a student. I just, it's just incredible. So, and that is very fifth house. Fifth house people make it themselves. They make their whole world themselves. Do you know, they're self-taught people. And I really relate strongly to that. So we're going to put that in the upright position because I do think that you're going to, I think you're going to figure out so much stuff this year. And I think you're going to master, and that's why I say that you're spiritually advanced, you're really going to master this surrender thing. Because the more easily you can just effortlessly surrender, you let go of those things, they may heal and come back, right? Whether it's a person or a dream or an ambition or project or whatever it is, you let it go, it heals, it comes back, right? Because you're at a higher level, you're healed, you've improved, right? So things can come back to you. You've got more energy and ability to catch it and be with it and, and take it, right? So now we've got the High Priestess card. I love this. I think this is like the best. This and this. These are the best cards in here. They're all the best cards, but I mean, I love these too. For me, this was like once you've figured this out here, then I think, and I think you're going to use your intuition. You're going to need your intuition. You're going to become this butterfly. Any one of these butterflies, you're going to become that. You're going to totally transform this year. There might be a bit of healing chaos along the way. And within this healing chaos, you're just going to need your intuition. You're not going to need, look, we don't have any swords here. We don't have any, we don't have earth. We've got cups, we've got emotion. That's why I talked about love. So yeah, this is, this is to do with your love life. But I feel like once you sort out some things, in the love life realm you're going to be this butterfly you're going to totally transform it's going to be magic it's going to be amazing i love these two cards and if you're stuck in here at any point this year in that healing chaos let's say it's dark and it's difficult you, ju you just need your intuition and that's it your intuition will guide you every single step of the way it's going to tell you exactly what to do it's going to tell you it's going to tell you everything I, I'm, I promise you I've I use my intuition now for everything even like what should I eat today you know um, should I go out and do this should I anything anything even small I use it on small things because I'm building up my intuition I'm learning how to use it it's talking to me all the time uh, it's it's up to us to listen and it's up to us to take in the messages that are coming from there but it's guiding you all the time all of the answers that's another thing all of the answers are within you okay so even if there's a tornado or anything if you're wherever you are your answers are there your answers are always there all your answers are within uh you know coming to a reading like this is nice and it's fun but the answers that are within you are far better than anything any external person can give you all right well i am wishing you i could talk about this spread for hours guys there is so much in here but thank you so much for tuning in i'm wishing you the very best 2021 i'm wishing you lots of love lots of laughter you know have a good laugh while you're in this healing chaos see if you can make fun of it see if you can you know and if there's nobody with you, because you know, you see, you, know, some, you turn to the person next to you and have a good chuckle. Well, sometimes there's no one there, and um, that's when I turn to my angels and I have a good laugh with them, or, or my intuition, or my higher self, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, wishing you a lot of love, wishing you a lot of laughter, a lot of fun. 
I feel like success is yours. You've got the sun. Absolutely, perhaps, I don't know, I mean, is this the best deck in the whole card set? I reckon it is, it's one of my absolute favourites. So you've got a gold card here. You're going to have a good year. It's going to be a lot to look forward to. Uh, I wish you all the best. Take care. Drop me a comment below. Let me know how this goes. And I'll speak to you next time. Thank you.